It might seem as if we're living in the year of the sinkhole. Earlier this year, a street collapsed in Toledo, Ohio, taking down one car. In February, a sinkhole actually collapsed underneath the bedroom of a man in Tampa, killing him. And this past weekend, a major sinkhole opened up near Orlando's theme park district, forcing dozens of people to flee a hotel. Sinkholes are a part of the geology of Florida. You have a limestone karst that's underneath the sort of dirt and sand that's on top of the rock. And as water flows down into the ground, you can actually eat away at the limestone. That's a naturally occurring event, but it may be happening slightly more often now because as we develop more and more of the state, you sort of lose the ability for the ground to absorb the water gradually when you have a heavy rainstorm, as is often the case in Florida in the summertime. Instead, when you get a big rainstorm, the water tends to collect in certain areas and then flow all in a torrent down into that ground. That water then eats away at the limestone. Then on top of that, you have more and more structures, more and more buildings on top of that very thin layer of dirt and sand. And it's almost inevitable that something's got to give. That's when a sinkhole opens up.